Everyone likes to enjoy the life with parents and friends. We don't want to feel alone, and we are looking for a role model to follow their path of success. But the life of John O'Lancaster was entirely different. He was born with a rare genetic condition, Treacher Collins syndrome, a disorder of the facial bones and tissue that can dramatically affect appearance, hearing, sight and breathing. It usually doesn't affect intelligence, and many patients can live long with treatments. But it has no cure. Lancaster, 30, was abandoned by his parents at just 36 hours old. He always felt alone growing up with the condition and he spent most of his developing years depressed and acting out. You know, there's been times when I have been an easy target for bullies. He faced cruel bullying and rejections. John O discovered on Facebook that he has two younger siblings, who have no idea he exists. But his attempt to contact his biological parents only resulted in more rejection. Now, John O Lancaster is an inspiration to children, having the same condition. He travels the world meeting children with the disorder, helping families cope with it and speaking to groups about awareness, education and bullying prevention. John was developing a brace of fans, like young Zachary in Australia, who love him as a hero. That's left me feeling isolated and almost like it's me against the world. Two-year-old Zachary Walton, was born with Treacher Collins syndrome, got the opportunity to spend three days with his hero. The family witnessed the wonderful bond between Zachary and Lancaster. They were very much worried about their son's future. But Lancaster gave them hope and inspiration. Now Lancaster is a part of Zachary's family. He hated Treacher Collins, he hated his life. But now he believes, God made him for a good reason and he is proud of it. He is an important role model to anyone anywhere upset about how they look, and his speeches have helped change people's attitudes, to love themselves for who they are. No, but as I've got older, you know, I've learned to be proud of the way I look. You know, I love looking the way I do and I love being me.